Hello and welcome back to Subnautica with myself, Holo. Last time we actually went into the Aurora, which is that giant spaceship we're looking at right now. Went in the front of it and it was really, really cool. We got like, um, oh God, what was it called? It was some sort of uh, power cell that was made specifically for the Cyclops submarine, which we don't actually have right now. Um, there it is, look, the power upgrade module increases the submarine power efficiency. So basically, it seemed like it was taking too much power, the Cyclops um, submarine. And uh, yeah, they, they added that just for, uh, you know, the people who were saying, you know, it takes up too much power to actually use. That's really nice of them, and uh, that's what it's for. But if we're going to use that, we're going to need an actual submarine. So today, we're finally doing it. We're making the Cyclops... That's what this video is all about. So we're going to need an uh, advanced wiring kit and a Cyclo Cyclops blueprint. Those are two things we already have. We're going to need five enamel glass and five plasteel ingots. Now, I have actually done a little bit of um, reconnance, or whatever what the fuck, the, however you say that word. Um, I Probably definitely, in fact, not the way you're supposed to say it, what I just said. That was just terrible. Uh, basically, what you need is to go to your materials. So we're going to need five plasteel ingots, and we're going to need five enamel, enamel glass. So, stock of teeth are apparently kind of hard to get. I just found four instantly. Instantly, just before I started recording, I just went and had a look, see if I could spot any, so I knew for the video, you know, how it would work, and I instantly found four. We need five, so I'm definitely going to get that on camera. How it works, apparently, is you're going to need to go over to the Creepvine area, uh, which is, of course, just down this way, and what you need to do is find some stalkers that are near some scrap metal. They'll try and bite into the scrap metal. We've seen it before. Um, and basically they lose their teeth, you know, they're biting at something too hard and they lose their teeth. It's kind of neat, right? Um, simple idea, but, you know, makes logical sense in the world. I like it. So they're actually looking for stalkers now. It's good that they actually have a use besides, you know, just being an annoying thing that just tries to bite you when you're just, you know, minding your own business, looking for silver and, and whatever. Um, which obviously isn't somewhere you even want to be here for silver, which I've learned. Oh, the things I've learned in this game, man. i learned so much. i learned so much. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty, the creep vine, man. I've cut some. Whoa. There's a leech coming for me, not a stalker. We're looking for the stalkers. Just using this to give you guys some lighting. I know it's dark in these areas, so... You know, using this torch. But I'm using a lot of energy to do that. So hopefully we find some stalkers soon, eh? Here we go. I've, I've actually I found a stalker here. So all you need to do is look around on the ground and see, is there any teeth? There's actually scrap metal right here. So I actually want to take that. But yeah. Oh, right there. Instantly I found one. Like, like that's how easy it was. People were saying, oh, another one. People are saying it's tough, you know, because of the way you have to do it. But honestly, I feel like I've been very uh, lucky when it comes to stalker teeth. And I've already got six. I only need five, but, you know, why not take a, 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 an extra one just in case you need it later. So we're going to go back to the ship now. Look how pretty that is. Uh, God, look at that. That's so nice. <sighs> so pretty. Um, and you're going to go back to the pod now put that away and work on the other things that we need. So we have the stalker teeth, now we're gonna need the glass. We are gonna need five glass to make this bad boy, which means we're gonna need three, six, nine, 15 quarts total. How much we got right now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're gonna need to go find another, well, uh, eight-ish um, to go get, a, a, you know, enough for the glass. So. You guys have seen me do this, I, you know, I, I, it's been a weird sort of like back and forth, you know, you want more cutting, you want less cutting, but honestly, I think uh, when I'm running around, you know, just going and picking up quartz and, and stuff like that, you know, you guys have seen this a bunch of times, and obviously I'm going to get scrap metal because I'm going to need a lot of titanium as well while I'm doing this, um, and you know, if anything interesting happens, I always show you guys, if there's anything relevant to talk about, I'll show you guys, you know, I'm still recording when I'm doing this. Thing is, you know, again, you've seen me go pick up quartz and scrap metal a bunch of times. I just don't think you need to see me do it again, guys. See, there you go right here. The stalker was actually, yeah, they're both like just hitting that scrap metal and then they lose their teeth. It's quite an, a simple idea, isn't it? But it really, look, they're doing more. You know, it's a simple idea, but it, it really works. It fits in with the world, with the game. I like it a lot. Oh, my inventory is full. Crap. 
Look, there's another one caught on one there. They're bloody stupid animals, them. Swordfish creatures. Uh, we're also doing really well right now on uh, scrap metal and quartz. I'm going to have a quick glance around for some more quartz before we leave. But, uh, yeah, we currently have three titanium ingots. We only need two more. I should minimum be able to get another one from the titanium I'm going to get from that scrap metal. And on the quartz side of things, we're doing pretty good as well. I'd say we're a little bit over halfway on the quartz. And here we are. I have... Uh, Probably enough now, I would say, to get everything done. So we just want to get as much titanium from the scrap metal as we have. We have two, so six. Uh, we're going to need four more. This is the last glass I'm going to need right here. There we go. So let's have a look. See how much titanium we have left over. So we need... We have. We currently have three, six, seven. We need three more. One, two, three. We've got it. Put that glass away. We've got the five glass there. Put the quartz away. And, uh, yeah. Let's get this done. Here we go. Titanium ingot. There we go. Awesome. So now we have five titanium ingots. And we have everything we need for the other stuff. Actually, that's that's true. We actually have an everything we need. So we got the glass. So five glass. And then we need five teeth from the stalkers. It's four and five. And then we just turn that into the sort of upgraded glass. I'm mean, interested to see what this actually looks like. It's just bigger, I guess. Bigger, like, version. In terms of image, I'm saying. Um, on the enamel glass. So that's one. Two. And three. Four. Here we go. Final one. Five. Awesome. That feels really good to craft, you know? You have to, you have to really work for this. It's really cool. Right, so there we have the enamel glass. It has just, it's just bigger glass, isn't it? But just say, for pressure-resistant windows. All right. So there we go. We have that. Now we just need the other thing. Uh, we have the five ingots there. I'm going to put this copper away and put what quartz I can away. Is there anything I can take out of here? I guess I'll take, like, a titanium. We don't need the titanium in there. Uh, crash powder. Screw the, scr screw the crash powder. There we go. So I've got some quartz left over. Awesome. So, what is it we actually need now to make the other thing, the plastil ingots? Well, we have the titanium ingots, but we need lithium. Now, lithium is something that you can only get from a place known as a mushroom biome. Let's compare these signals. 800 meters away, it's not that far. Which direction is it in? There, you see that? If I go over there... I'm going to find a mushroom biome, maybe, I think. Pretty sure. And that should hold lithium, however that works. So I want to put one of these signals back for now. And we're going to go over there. So I'm both excited and nervous for this. What we're doing right now is going out into really, really deep water. We're not going over to where the uh, spaceship is, where the Aurora is, we're actually going pretty much the opposite direction. But the thing is, we're about, yeah, we're going about as far as we would to go to the Aurora. So this is uncharted territory. This is a place where I've never been before, never gone this far in this direction before, and it's super deep water. Here we are. Can't really see, it's a bit dark. Is this the right place? No, it's further. But as you can see, there is this like mushroom forest. Look at that. Look at that. And this is apparently where lithium comes from. If I can, I think I'm going to get... Passing Fuck. Okay, it's not safe here. Good to know. 
We're we're in a depth now. It's not safe. What that means is you, you're in more dangerous waters, I guess. Do I keep going to the signal? I don't feel safe here, guys. It's like a weird sound going on. It's really weird. Now, I have brought a, a spare power cell. Caution. Safe Scares me every time they says that. I have brought a spare power cell. As you uh, viewers will know, I only have 20% power in this seam off. Whoa. Look at those things. I believe they are neutral. I've, I've been to one of these types of places before off camera back when I was in Germany, but I, I just sort of looked at the area and that was it. But I, I believe they are neutral. I think I've killed one. Alright, um... How far do we need to go? 200 meters that way. Have, we, have I gone past it? Probably did. Whatever it is, I went past it. Could be the location of that weird sound. There's one of those bastards there. Here we go. That right there. That's that's it. This is it. There's no way it's not. It's a giant, massive mushroom tree. Bigger than all the others. King of the mushroom trees right here. Look at that. Ginormous. And where I believe lithium actually is. Caution. Passing safe death. Is inside the tree. So, here we go. Should have brought a torch, maybe. Yeah, I should have done that. There! This thing. Lithium! It's like a weird pinkish crystal. Oh my god, this cave is huge. Oh, I've got another one. Alright, we got two now. We need five. Fuck is that? Spade fish, I think. Okay. God, there's more up here. Holy shit, this place is big. Oh my god. Lithium? How far does it go? Oh my god, it just keeps going. Is there any lithium here? Lithium! Free lithium now. Two, two to go. I gotta get back down there. I'm worried about my air. Even though we're like halfway, I was getting a bit, you know, lost in this cave. Look at this shit, man. It just goes on. I would drown in there so hard. I know I, know I would. So I just gotta get back to the ship. Easier said than done. I'm actually kind of nervous right now. Oh, we're okay. And there's a lithium right at the entrance. Give me that air bubble. Let me back in here. I need a just moment. I just need a moment. Just need a moment. Scary here, guys. Look at that. It's all bright now. This is um, jelly plant. I think I picked this up before on video. First time I went over to the ship area. Uh, what it does is what well, not really anything. It's just um, just something you can eat. I think it's those weird sort of like beautiful moth things that are making those sounds. But at the very least, I hope it's them and nothing else, nothing scarier. Like look at that thing. Really pretty. I got 15% fuel left. That's not good. Alright. So we're going to go back in. Keep looking for lithium. I'm going to nom those jellyfish for food. Jelly plants, even. Okay. I just need one lithium, right? Yeah, just one more. And then we can get out of here. This weird, scary, creepy area. It looks beautiful. It's just that I really feel... 
like I'm in a really dangerous area and I don't really know what's gonna come for me out of the depths, you know? And that feeling is, well, it's scary, isn't it? Um, but I do have my heat blade. There, right there, lithium. Oh yeah, okay, let's find our way back down. I wanna come here and properly explore, but what I think I'm gonna need to do to do this is have a real ship, have my actual ship, the Cyclops, the submarine. And that's why we're here, that's why we're getting the lithium. Let's not get excited, let's not overcommit. Let's get the hell out of here, get to safety. Oh my god. So cool, so mysterious. I want to know more about this area, man. I really do. Oh, there's the Aurora loading in. It's so half loaded in. But um, for now, I just feel like we're you know we're out of our depth right there. We got to go back, get that lithium, um, build the Cyclops, and then maybe come back there at some point in the future. That was a render finish sound. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I brought that power cell just in case. But it actually turned out that I didn't need it. Look, I've got 10% energy left. I think I could probably use that and get back to the um, the pod. No problem. But that area is so creepy. It's all about that music change, you know. When you're in this area that's just normal that you're used to. It's just this calming, normal sounds, you know. Um, mostly animal sounds that you recognize. Um, you know, it's cleaner, clearer water, and it's nowhere near as deep as that. That was like the deepest we've ever been, under 150 feet, like it was warning me that I'm super low depth. So it's a good thing I had that rebreather as well. But, uh, Jesus, it's just like there's this atmosphere change instantly when the music stops. And there's these weird sounds that you don't know, and all these lights. It gets weird, man. Got 4% fuel left. Alright, I'm excited to do this. Get in here. So we now have the lithium. We just got to get the uh, ingots, the titanium ingots. There they are. Uh, then we get the advanced wiring kit. Then we're going to get the enamel glass, and that should be everything we need. So what is it? It is the plasteel ingots. We're going to need five of the bad boys. A lot of them. Jesus Christ! I'm really excited to see the this the submarine, guys. It's been you know, a lot of effort getting it, but very satisfying to do, honestly. There we go. So now we have everything we need. I'm just going to put this away. And I guess I'll put the power cell away for now. Okay, here we go. There's the constructor. I was just looking for it there. <laughs> Evading me a little bit. It's all like floating away from the base, isn't it? A bit, a bit worrying. All right, here we go. How's this thing even gonna look? We got everything, guys. A drivable submarine. Whoa! Holy shit! That's so huge! It's got like, multiple levels on it. Oh, it even goes back there. Oh, that's so cool. It even lets you like look inside it all at once. Oh, man. Good job, guys. Robot friends. Oh, my. God. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Holy shit. So I... I bought it through this... Ah. Oh. Oh, wow. This is the launch bay? We have a launch bay? Okay. The lower deck number two. Look at all this stuff. Whoa. Oh, this is like the power room. Oh, look, it's the power. I can actually climb up. Don't want to walk into that. Got the power cells that are powering it. Oh, this is so cool. Can I go to the other side? Yeah, there's six power cells in this bad boy. And I can upgrade the console. There's no signal. So this is where I want to jam that upgrade. All right, got it. Come through here. Wait, wait, what room is this? Does it say? It doesn't say. So this is the, the locking grid. 
Can actually open that up and drop down. No Seamoth docked. Oh, that's where I docked the Seamoth. What's this thing? I don't know. Just like uh, holding it together. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can even just close the door, you know, whatever. Seal it tight when I'm driving. So this down here would be where we came in. Got it. I got this command sort of thing with all this information telling us the depths and whatnot. Submarine name. I can change the name of the submarine. Oh my... I can change the color of the submarine. Are you serious? I can change the color of the submarine. This is so cool. Let's pilot it though. Okay, why is it a pilot? Space and sea for vertical E to exit. Whoa. Oh. So space goes up, sea goes down. This is so fucking cool. This is so fucking cool. I'm s my mouth is just like open, man. Okay, so if I want to put it here, leave it like that. Let's look at it from the outside real quick. Oh, that looks so fucking badass. So I changed I changed the color of it. I made it black. That looks so cool. Oh my god, the fact that you can change the color of it. What's this up here? Oh, so like, little like, I guess... Yeah, look, it's it's like a little eye or whatever. Oh my god, this is so cool. The fact that you can change the color of it as well. So, I, wanted, I want to dock the seam off, if possible. I don't know how to do this. Here we go. Dock seam off. Whoa! It opens up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then it gives it the power again. Draining the power of this, obviously. Which is not good, but still. I can I don't have to put the I don't have to awkwardly put the power cell in into the seam off. I just put it in here, and then I can replace the power cells in here. I have a moving base, guys, and it's so fucking cool. This is so fucking cool. I am so just blown away by how amazing this is. So let's change the color. Let's do it. So we want to change the color. How do we... Ah, oh, yeah. I want blue. Light blue. Yeah, light blue. And then I want the white stripes. Yeah, the band. That's right. I want the band white stripes. I want the back. And then we'll have some, like, deep blue. We pur you know, purple. And the name, what should we call it? Um, call it True Blue for now. And make the name black, I guess. Done. So let's go outside and see what we've done. Is there going to be like a name on the side of it? Oh! Oh, with the white stripes for my theme. We got the little purple lines that I did there. Look at that thing, man. A turbine at the back. Look! True blue! Oh my god! That's so fucking cool! This is so fucking cool! Oh god, it's so awesome! True blue. Fuck yeah, man. But it can't be in black. I don't think the black looks good. Let's change it. Yeah, I like it better in white. Look, true blue and white. That just looks nicer with the theme. It fits with the theme. I'm glad that I did the purple lines on everywhere. Like, it really fits with the coloring. Yeah, look at that. Looks really nice. I'm so happy with this color scheme. It looks so good, guys. It looks so good. I want to see the seam off, by the way. Where it's docked in. Oh, it's just closed up now. So what I want to do is go in here. And then we go through this door to launch bay. She's like bugging the fuck out. There we go. And it's just above me. It's so cool. 
is so well designed. And the power cell's now fully charged already. Oh my god. This is the best fucking thing, guys. I'm just so blown away. Thanks for all the tips, guys. It was so worth it. You were right. I gotta take this on a sweet mission next time. Do leave suggestions on what to do next time, what you uh, would like to see. If you have any ideas where I should go with this thing. Oh god, it's so god it's so goddamn awesome. So worth all the pain. Oh god. Thanks for watching guys. I've been Hollow. You've been you. This has been True Blue. We'll see you next time, guys.